They say it's wage slavery because the employer is not sharing his profits with the worker. He gets rich at his, and his workers are staying poor. Please comment. Uh, so a number of things. One, is poor, his worker is not staying poor. His worker is rising in his wages over time as he becomes more productive. Um, it is, if you look at the life cycle of workers, yes, they start with very weak wages, but their wages increase as they become more productive, as they switch jobs, as they get more senior, as they develop their skills. If you're a decent worker, you don't stay poor. Part of the problem with poverty numbers is that they're weighted by the fact that when you're young, almost everybody's poor. Because you don't know anything, and you don't have any skills. Now, you know, the employer is not sharing his profit with the workers. But why should he? The employer, the, the, um, the profits, are, the profits are um, compensation for the employer. It's compensation for the capital he's put up. It's compensation for the risk he has taken. It's compensation for the time he puts in to sustain the business. It's his form of compensation. The workers' compensation is wages, and wages are received before the owner receives his profit. What about years where there's no profit? What about years where the profit is negative and there's a loss? And the, and the um, employer actually has to dig into savings. Sometimes workers lose their job, but sometimes they don't. And rarely do their wages get cut. So profit is the return on investment. An investment is it's compensation for the investment, and that's compensation for the time value of money, the fact that the investor doesn't have the money, is giving it to you, the worker, if you will, and the, 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 all the different workers from CEO on down. It's, um, it's compensation for the risk he has taken, and it's compensation for his ability to choose you over somebody else. It's his opportunity. So why should the employer share the profits with the worker? Is he going to share the, 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 the losses as well? Now, let me just say, yeah, I mean, startups, for example. Startups don't make any money for years, sometimes decades. I know biotech companies that have taken, you know, Moderna had not made any money in like 15 years before now, before the vaccine. Did it pay its workers, its scientists, its salespeople, its researchers, its janitors? Yeah, it paid them all. How? Because somebody was willing to put up that money. Now, when they make a profit, finally, after 15 years, would you expect those people to get that profit because they funded the whole thing for 15 years? And of course, profit to, 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 for a CEO or for, for the reason a CEO gets compensated for profit, the reason his salary is often linked to the company's profits, is because he, more than anybody else in the company, is responsible for those profits. He, if he makes the right calls, will make, will, 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 cause the company to make money. If he makes the wrong calls, will cause the money to lose money. So it's really, really important that he make the right calls. It's his ability that will determine the fate of the company. If, if, if a worker screws up here or there, it's, it's not going to change that much in terms of the profitability of the company. But if the CEO screws up here or there, it's going to make a huge difference. So he gets compensated from profits because of the impact he has on profits. 
since any particular worker, any given worker has very little effect on profits, he gets very little compensation from profits. Now, a lot of companies today, particularly in tech, but in other, com other, other uh, uh, industries as well, do actually pay workers from profits. They give them bonuses. They give them stocks. They used to, in the past, give stock options. In technology, people were, you know, were very handsomely rewarded with stock options. So, no, I mean, this idea that, um, that they don't get compensated with, depends what you mean by worker. Yes, the, 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 um, the uh, barista at Starbucks, I don't think, gets stock options. He doesn't get, although he might get a bonus at the end of the year. But the barista, any particular barista at Starbucks doesn't have a big impact on profits. So why should he make profits? Why should he get any? He has very little impact on very much. That's why he doesn't make a lot of money. Whereas the CEO, again, has a huge impact on profits. But, but it's even if, but it doesn't matter because slavery is not about profits. The complaint of the slave in the American South was not, ooh, the master's making a lot of money off that cotton and he's not sharing it with me. The complaint of the slave was, I don't get to choose my life. I am not free. Workers are free. They get to make choices. They get to get to go home. They get to choose their wives. They don't get beaten up by their employers. So no, this debate about profits is an okay, interesting debate. But it's zero excuse, and this is what should not be tolerated. It is zero excuse for the laziness, the moral offensiveness of using the term wage slavery. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>